look at that solid door. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. All right. How to convert your two-piece school bus door into a one-piece school bus door with a latch that you can open from the inside and lock from the outside that self-closes and self-latches. Here's what we picked up. $15 from Lowe's Home Improvement. Number 0231603. Single cylinder de uh, dead latch lock. Um, looks like this. Comes with a template that you can use, right? And I'll show you one modification you have to make to it. Comes with some hardware latch and stuff like that. This is going to sit on the door here, and this piece of the door is going to be attached to this piece of the door. And when it closes, we want this to latch, but as you can see, it's set to be closing from the inside. So meaning the latch would swing this direction and latch, but we want it to latch from this direction. So we're going to take it apart and turn this latch around so that the uh, curved portion of it is going to actually go towards our door opening. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take off this one screw right here. Okay. Then this plate, we're going to release it. It flips open and slides out. Now, here's what you're looking at. Okay, here's how the mechanism works. See? That's how it actuates, okay? Now, what we want to do is we want to slide this spring here. See this little plate here in the spring? We want to slide that back and then pop this out. Make sure your mechanism's straight. Then we want to slide, turn it, we turned it around and we want to slide this in. Can you see that? Slide this down and hold it while you drop it into place. Okay, so that's what we have now. Now, when our door closes, this will go and then latch as, it, as the door closes. Now this is facing towards our door opening. The plate, you just want to make sure that this is straight up and down like that. Slide it into its slot here and lay it back down and then put your screw plate in here. And check its function. If you want to check its function this way. Okay, so that is now ready to be installed. Okay, so what we've done here is we have attached a, uh, this is like a two and a half inch by a quarter inch steel bar. I would pre-drilled these three holes and then these four holes the, so that they were a large, slightly larger diameter than the screws. And then these are self-tapping uh, screws that I used to hold this bar to the door and I, I, I made this plate here to cover the hole for our original handle. I also attached a bar to the bottom across the bottom. You'll see what I did here was I cut out some of the uh, seal, the door seal, just to uh, uh, allow the bar to sit flat against the doors. Then I unbolted the door from the original hinges and now you can see we have a one piece door. Okay. Closes. See? So now what I'm working on is the template that you use for the door lock. Fit here. And I'm drilling out the holes basically for the door lock. 
So I'm going to drill, pre-drill one eighth inch holes here, 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 here. I'm going to pre-drill an eighth inch hole in the center here for my uh, for my hole. It's going to be a uh, one and a quarter inch hole that I have. I'll show you the hole saw I'm going to use. All right, so I have I have pre-drilled all my holes here. So I'm going to take my template off. And now I'm going to drill my one and a quarter inch hole through uh, the door. Make sure you tap your holes to the right size sheet metal screws that you're going to use because you're not going to use the wood screws that came in the kit. Now, as you can see, I've screwed these two in, okay, sheet metal screws. Then I came around here and I installed the tumbler with the faceplate here, okay, and then I installed these two screws. Now, these two screws were too long. These two screws were too long. But you'll notice the instructions tell you, the instructions tell you screw point breaks, screw break points. And it tells you how thick your door is and where you break the bolt. I had to break mine at the X. I grabbed my bolt cutters and I cut it right there in between the two threaded sections. Okay? Now you'll notice another thing it tells you. Right here, max one half inch minimum one half inch maximum so that needs to stick out at least in half an inch from the surface as you can see i need to break some of that off so what i'll probably do is i'll start off by breaking it here and then if i have to i'll go to here but i think i'm going to break it off right there at this line right here Okay, so I want to show you what I did here. I cut out the middle of my door out to allow this to sit farther back. See how I cut out the door frame here and I cut out the door frame here so that this would sit back up against this. I installed a small piece of wood I had to trim it several times to get it to the right size. I screwed it into the frame here. And so then this is screwed into that piece of wood. Eventually I'll replace this with some metal and like weld it in. But the door closes and latches. All I need, you see, see uh, light through there? It's because I need to add a weather stripping to the outside of the door. So. I'll add a piece of weather stripping all up this edge of the door so that when it closes, that'll all be sealed right there with weather stripping. One piece door, pretty much complete. I gotta cut off these hinges here uh, and stuff like that. But then the only way to get into the bus from the outside is with the key. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Can you say it? If you like our videos, please like and subscribe. And expire. <laughs> please okay, like and expire. If you like our videos, please like and describe. And describe. <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs>